I'm live right now. Hi, friends. Uh, so today I thought I'd just come on again to uh, show you how I painted um, these guys or how I'm, how I'm going to be painting these guys. This is my first one here. Uh, my last stream, I showed you how I made the heads. And so this next part, the second part of the stream, and if you haven't seen it, you can go check it out. It's an hour stream, but um, I'm going to try to keep it an hour so then it's, you know, doable to watch. <laughs> and um, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm doing this in the stream. Um, I thought to do it in a stream versus a quick video because you get a little bit more step by step what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so I'll try to do this as fast as I can. So I have uh, made this guy in my last video in my last stream, and we're gonna paint him today. Hi, Teresa. How are you today? I'm I am good, how are you? I'm just gonna try remember to click on too. And this is the other guy that I made before, so I might get a chance to paint him too. Hi, Irene. <laughs> so I will do the painting and probably add the hair today. So that's what I'll do. Actually, I forgot to grab hair. So I'm going to send Cora to go get wool. Cora, in my closet quietly. Because daddy's. <laughs> How are you today, Irene? Anyway, so this is what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm going to try to click on to your comments so that everyone can see them. And uh, there we go. So that's what we're going to do today. This is my first one, just to show you the wire armature and underneath. Thank you. So, there we go. That's what we're going to work on today is painting. So I got, I use um, acrylic paints and I didn't, and um, acrylic deco art paints is what I have, and that's what I use. And we're going to check, maybe start on one here. <sighs> this guy, maybe he might be peachy silk. I have different skin tones that I like to use. I also like to use kind of a, uh, not the antique gold, but it is a nice kind of yellowy color. It's not really gold. So it is nice for some kind of fun skin tones. So I might keep that one out. I also like to use pebble to kind of change the skin color a bit. So this one is a nice color. Open it up for you. The pebble. And I like to mix them up. So this one's got kind of like the skin tone, flesh tone, pebble, a little bit of red on his nose, cheeks, and that kind of thing. So, I'm going to, to look for my skin tone. I have all my my paints in the container, so they're upside down. So I kind of just got to look at the bottom and see which ones I want to use. I got tons. I got three of these containers full of different. Here's the uh, flesh tone that I used the last time. So we got. A few colors out. I might sometimes like to add a little tone of yellow to the skin. Depends. So I got a few colors out that I could use. I also like to use a bit of a, like a red barn or red velvet for the mouth and stuff. So I'll keep those out too. They are like buttons. Uh, I decided to do like a kind of a play on these dolls, creepy dolls that are like um, the car from the Coraline movie, I think it's called. But these are my own characters. I didn't copy any of their characters, but I just like the eyes. I think I'll do different ones. Like I'm going to do a bunch of these kind. Um, I didn't do the strings in the eyes though. I just did the buttonhole type things. And I think that when I do more, I'm going to do different, different things on the eyes, so or different. I just wanted to do a few this way. So doing a live stream coolly. If you can hear me. So this is the, the ones I'm going to paint. 
So I thought this is my first time really trying this and I thought that this would be a fun thing to do and want to do that style. Um, so after this video, we'll start, um, cause this, I'm going to do a long, about an hour long stream. And then I'm going to show you guys how I made the clothing starting from the, the filling the body and stuff like that. So that'll be in the next video. So that's that. I don't know if you can see his face very good, but I like that you can bend his arms and stuff like that and legs and put him in any position. I like that. I think so. This one I wanted to start. I got a few paintbrushes. I got a whole whack of paintbrushes. <laughs> and I do like using makeup brushes too. So I have those in here as well for lots of different crafting. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm just trying to click on what you guys are saying here. So then it goes on the video. There we go. So um, I did sand down a little bit on here. There's a little lumpy with my nail. Cute, you know, nail sander. Where did it go? For nails, when you do acrylic nails or whatever. But I don't have to do too much. I'm going to be covering this with hair anyway of some sort. And I have no idea what style hair I want to do. Right now, I think I'm going to just go. I'm going to go in with antique gold with this one. Right now, I'm just going to kind of go with it. Sorry for my reach here, guys. I keep forgetting to pull up the paper towel. <laughs> keep forgetting. So I'm just have a jar of water and my paint. I'm just gonna go for that. I got uh, this as my palette. It's just uh, plastic covered. Uh, I still have them in the plastic. These cork things. I'm just using that as a palette right now because it's convenient. So if I need to brush them off or something or change my color a bit, add another color, I can kind of do that. So I'm just going to start off just in the back just to see if I like it. It's going to get covered here. So I'm thinking I'm going to like the little bit of the yellow. So I don't mind if the face is a bit lumpy, but I did kind of smooth it out a bit. And that's that. So, yeah, I'm using um, a dollar store paintbrush too. This is a rounded end. It's nice, cheap, and uh, cheap. And I don't know. I found them pretty good. So let's shop around because the expensive ones don't last. Well, they do last, but I'm a terrible at washing, so I'm rather by the I let them sit in my water way too long. I'm terrible at that. I'll try to flip it for you guys. I got to get a new way of filming so you guys can see face on or forward. When I do a video, I always flip it when I'm editing. But when I'm streaming live, this is how it is. Now I'm just going directly on there. I'm not putting uh, anything on it to seal it right now. I'll seal it later. That's fine. So. Just trying to get my colors in there. I might add a bit of pebble when I put a drop just by, by here for some shading and stuff like that after here. Get that a little bit of that in there. Get my neck. It's a bit yellow. I'm going to throw in some pebble in there now. Probably get my back of my head first there. quite yellow. This is the antique gold. But I'm getting my base down that I want. And you can mix any color and all colors of skin tones or whatever. Just 
just for fun. It's just a fun little character. Okay, so I'm mixing some of that uh, pebble in around on the cheeks. It's kind of mixed in with the yellow because I don't know what I want necessarily for colors. I just, uh, this one had pebble and uh, the flesh tone, I believe. Just trying to go for a different tone. Okay. Those eyes are just popping now. <laughs> Painting is kind of, uh, might be way quicker than actually making the face. I don't know. I haven't timed it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to flip it over here. Go in, maybe I will use a bit of flesh. I'm not cleaning my brush, I'm not too worried about it, but I'm gonna dab some of this off. I might not even like these colors, I don't know. Cora. Can you plug in my heat tool for me? I like to also use some burnt umber or sometimes different darker tones to heat tool. Plug it in. Oh, it is plugged in. Okay. Thank you. Dry that up a bit. So how has your long weekend been for you guys? Shake this up. This is a warm white. I'm going to use. You can see it. So blurry. I went too fast. There we go. And I just like to go crazy with different tones. I'm going to get my a brown mix with it. I'll use a coffee bean. I always like to, especially if my bottles get a little low, I like to go uh, upside down with them. Mixing a few colors here. Got to add some shadows and see what I like. In his ears. So I recommend, I don't know if you guys want to check out the other video as well, because it's kind of cool to see how his face is made. It's so fun to make these little guys. Now, I know like in the movie, they didn't have anybody with wrinkles or older. I'm not sure if this is an older person or not. It's just the way this particular character came out so far. And I kind of like that. I'm going to get a little bit of black just to get his eyes started, I think. So I get the look that I want and kind of going with his eyes. And then also I did put some highlights and, and a bit of gold on my first guy's eyes here. But also I like to I may, if I go over a little bit, correct it right away instead of the black is a little bit hard to put on. <laughs> Not really, but I mean the button goes touches right close to the flesh. A lot of people I'm surprised. It seems like a lot of people did go out for the long weekend around here. So surprisingly.
see it? And then I can kind of correct anything I go over on the edge with the with the paint, it's the flesh paint. Fun little little things. Oops, there I go, getting on the on the flesh. So this one I decided to do a two buttonhole. The first one I did a four buttonhole, so I thought that was could be fun to change up. Not that it's a big drastic thing, but pretty cute. I tried to do one, oh, things gonna go off with just the eyes uh, without the buttons. And I thought, well, it looked cute, but right now I would wanna do some more button ones. I think I'll do a bunch and then do a bunch in a different style. But this is what I just feel like doing right now. I thought the doll making thing was really, really fun. I want to share with everyone. This is just a uh, paper, what is it called? Clay from the dollar store. Just getting that corner here. Come on, get in. That's the nice thing about painting it kind of now before I get to fancy on the face tones that can get now get that look I want. Chloe. Streaming sweetie. Anyway, this is the clay I use and this is what I'm like the dry now that's what it's on on these guys. And so I'm painting over that. This is how he's looking so far. And then I do seal it with a, uh, a sealer after. And you see the difference in the shine and stuff. So far, the skin tones, totally different, which are really cool. Sorry, there's construction going on outside <laughs> next door. Looking good. Okay. I don't know what I want to do yet. So sometimes I'll just go over something and change it up a bit or and then decide I like that. So right now I'm doing some highlights just to see what I want. If I want to add some highlights. This is actually the fastest I've ever painted a face, but I haven't gone over it a hundred times to decide if that's what I want. I think I want to add a little bit of redness to it. So I do like to have a little rosy-ish cheeks and stuff. This guy's actually coming along really super fast. So let's see what kind of lips. I think I'm gonna go more of the red violet. Pounce that off. That's that so far. That's a really pinky purpley. So I haven't decided if this is a little, little guy or a little girl. I don't know what it is yet. Okay. <laughs> Not sure yet. I'll grab a toothpick or I could, oh, no, I don't have the toothpicks over there. Where are they? Right over here. Put some details in with some toothpick. I'm still not sure if this is the, the final shading and stuff, but I'm just kind of playing with the little part here. So 
So what are you guys doing today? You crafting? Oh, this is raw umber. I like this color too. I'm gonna put a little bit on there. Are you just chilling? Grab some card in the back from somewhere. Yeah. Cool to find out what you guys are up to. So I'm gonna use my toothpick just to get in a little bit of the mouth. I could use a fine brush too, but if it doesn't work with my toothpick, which is easy, should be easier. Then I could throw in my fine brush. I'm not sure if I'm liking it yet, but of course there's still more shading to be done or that kind of thing. Highlighting. There we go. There's a lot. Hey. Everyone's home, so trying to do a video. Not sure if I'm liking the lips. There we go there. Okay, I'm gonna grab my barns. I like that. Barn. Whoa, we didn't mix that and now I messed up my colors. See that? Okay. Soak up some of that. My bad. You're punching out flowers from scraps. Leftovers, that's cool. I have still, I've done that years ago and I still have some flowers that I punched out left in my stash from the, um, well, I did the tattered, tattered flowers or whatever from, um, uh, what the heck is that called? The ones that you kind of go over with the roller thing. I still have some. <laughs> can't just get rid of them. It was years ago. I actually moved here five, six years ago and they moved with me. So that's a long time that I had those on my stash. <laughs> Going in with the red cheeks. Hi. Hi, Veronica. Going in with a bit of a red cheeks, red on the chin. I'm not sure if I'm liking the lips. I will dull them up. That's the thing when you kind of go with this. It's like wax on, wax off. It's nice that you can do that. I use my fingers to wipe off too much paint if I don't like something too. No problem. Kind of doing the same thing with this guy here. I had a bit of a red nose. I can't help. I love the red nose look, but the lips are just too much. So I'm going to grab a little bit of pebble. Go over the lips a bit. Lips are just too dark. Let's grab a little bit and I'm just really kind of going in circles, getting it kind of in there, but I don't mind if it kind of pops darker it looks really awful on camera it looks brighter that's funny <laughs> it looks awful on camera okay i'm gonna add a little bit of red the tone does not look so flattering on the camera now i just kind of tapped i keep hitting the tap a little i don't know if this one's a girl i'd like to be make it a girl i made the lips really red Although his lips are quite a rouge as well. <laughs> um, right now I'm just making them and I don't have plans for that yet. <laughs> so I'm just going to make a bunch and then enjoy them. And I might sell them. I don't know. I've never really put things up for sale, but um, I might sell them locally. So we'll see. I haven't really, like I said, done that, but I gotta get doing that. I'm, I never sell my stuff. I usually give away and I actually gotta start doing that a little bit. 
it'd be nice to have a little little income or something. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of liking that. I'm wondering if I should add a little more yellow just because I can. Okay, so this is the antique gold. I have quite a bit of that out, so I'm gonna close that. Don't think I need any more of my barn, which is my favorite for cheeks and stuff. The red barn, I love that one. Oops, I, my mouse clicked down again. Super duper my favorite. I'm gonna mix this up before I make my same mistake. So that actually didn't take too long. Usually I uh, never time how long it takes me to paint these things. The painting sure is faster than the um, <laughs> making the hand and the clothing, that's for sure. And I'm gonna put a little bit of gold on the button holes after to a little dry brush or something. This brush that I'm using here is really super cheap. It's a makeup brush from the dollar store. I don't know what it is for. It doesn't look like it would be a nice brush for makeup, but it's a nice brush for painting. I use a lot of makeup brushes here. I'm gonna show you for stuff. This is really great for highlights and stuff. This is the you know foundation applicator, I believe. This one's another makeup brush from the dollar store. You can get like packs of these for $4 or something. Um, I think these, all these ones came in one pack. Um, and sometimes I'll wet this and get some paint off in grooves and stuff if I find that this one's really good for that kind of cleanup. This one I used a bit too for highlighting. It's an interesting and it works. These are makeup brushes. This is really good for highlighting on bigger projects. Doing a like a light brush of white and almost taking it all off and doing highlighting, like especially when I do my um, like builds that are like, I don't know. Hi. Like, you know, when I do stone or walls and that kind of thing and you get the nice highlights in that. So yeah, I like to use here's another makeup brush. This one I think I did. Oh yeah, from the dollar store, and they work really great. I'm really loving them. And the other ones here are from the dollar. So these ones are not, but these are more expensive. But look at how crazy I use them. They're all just crazy. Anyway, so this one seems to work really good. What was I working on? Oh, yellow. Let's go put yellow somewhere. Highlights or something. Yenya Easel, is that how you say it? Your name? I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow highlights. I don't know. Make it different. It looks really nice next to the. Uh, it looks really weird on here, but it looks really nice. If, I think to next to the. along with the red kind of thing, the red barn. I like it. Okay, I think I'm gonna use my burnt umber. Really try to get some of that off. I actually got that yellow still in there. Get in the ear area. Trying to get where darker parts should be. My turtle's making a lot of noise. Very close. I wish sometimes I could have you guys actually physically chatting on here. Ah. And, okay, it's backwards. Okay, cool. <laughs> what am I here? What is this? This is, yeah, burnt umber. Just making sure. Going in with the chin, I'm not sure. Oh, and the nostrils, I got some nice nostrils happening there. I gotta get those a little bit darker. 
twirl my brush in there a bit. It's a really clay color. Okay. I like to dab some of it off if I my fingers sometimes. This is kind of how it's looking. Okay, let's see here. Quite the darker skin than the other guy. Well, maybe not. It's a little different. It's a lot different, actually, but. Oh, thank you, Ver Veronica. <laughs> You've been doing these art dolls forever, though, so. I've been, well, I watched some of your, get a chance to watch some of your videos with your art dolls. Okay, I'm just adding a bit more wood. Because it's such a small uh, space. I'm using a small brush, but you can, I like to highlight with a bigger brush. Oops. Oh, thank you. Never tried to do it. Yeah, it's fun. I'm, I, I think I was down one day and I'm like, oh, I need to do this. Uh, kind of like, eh, I haven't been doing videos a lot lately. It's really, the lips are looking really brighter in, in the video. <laughs> Anyways, I haven't done anything in a while. And I'm like, oh, I'd like to, is this the red barn? I'm going to add a touch more red barn to the lips. I'd like to uh, cheer myself up. So I took the whole day, like not even kidding you, the whole day, I didn't time it, to make this, oops, I'm still on you to make this guy. So, yeah. And it was like crazy going through and doing it that fast. I think the next day I like by the evening, but cause it took me so long. And then once his head was uh, drying and stuff, I did the patterns for his, his body and his clothing and stuff. Like it just took me the whole day and by like late evening, I, I finally done it. And I think the next day I did sew the jacket cause that took forever. So that took a long time. That was hard to do the leather. Um, I need to get a thim thimble. <laughs> that was hard. So, okay. I wonder what color hair I should do with this one. I don't know if it looks like a girl. I got to do some gold. I don't know yet. I think I'm going to, oh, I'm adding a little bit of the, whatever's left of the barn in, in, my ears just because a little bit in here dry brushing it I gotta do something behind the ears to shade them up hi Denise how are you <laughs> I always surprise attack you guys all the time <laughs> um Red what? What was I saying? Red? <laughs> I can't remember. So I'm going to go a little bit of darkness behind the ears because I don't know what's going to show with the hair. Now I've got some wools that I got, got Cora to grab and we will work on that. But first I'm going to quickly just do a varnish over this. And maybe, pardon me? Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a varnish over this and then do, if this is done, I got to kind of look at it for a minute here. It might be too, on the, on the video, it looks very whitish on his face. Like the highlights look really red hair. I'll see, I'll show you the wool I have. I'll show you, I don't think I have red. It would be cute with red hair. But uh, I'll let you guys kind of see the wool. But what I'm gonna do is kind of like take a good gander of this. Look at this guy. Do I need freckles? This guy's got freckles. I might need to do some eyebrow-ish things. I do have a bit of something here then too bright. Just grabbing whatever's here, wiping it off. 
I'm never barely cleaning my brush, which could go either way, I guess. I'm going to darken up around here. Don't know. I don't know if I have room for a brow, but hey, this is what it's looking like. Might uh, darken up a little bit of the center of the nose, look like it's recessing here. That's this part here. I'm just so like, oh, what am I gonna do? Do this, do that. I'm grabbing a tad of this yellow again. Yellow and brown, will that work? The yellow is Hansa yellow, and I'm just trying to do a funny, that's not where I want that. Uh, just a different skin tone with different colors. How's it looking? The, um, do you think the lips are good? It's so weird that the colors look different. But I hope you guys think the lips good look good. Okay. I've got quite a bit of yellow in here. I like it. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a bit. I'm going to grab this brush. It's a big brush, so let's see. I'm going to rub off a lot of that white paint. And it's going to be really... This is what I do with this brush. And I'm just going to highlight the whole thing, dry brush it, whatever touches. The hair doesn't matter, the back of the hair, but I'm just doing it anyway. And now if I need any beauty spots. There it is. Okay, let's varnish this baby, but I'm gonna add a touch of gold because I think that's my signature. I gotta add gold to everything. I'm going to add this gold here. Just a touch, just a touch to do to the eyes where the button eyes go. Really get this paint off. Okay. Get this. Oh, I think I need some water. Oh, there we go. I think I'm getting stuffy too, so. I was so stuffy yesterday. We were planting garden and we we're right by a field and oh, I think it was, I'm just gonna get that. A little gold on there. This is really now dry because I rubbed it off so much. I just like that slight gold look. Oops, I'm sorry, you're still on there. A mole on the nose, okay. We'll do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna here. I'm going to go in with this brush I was telling you about earlier. Go wet it a bit. Take the water out. I think I put too much gold here. I'm just gonna go off, rub it off a bit. But I don't want to rub it all off. Here we go. That's my rub off, like you know, wax on, wax off. That's my wax off brush. I like to use it for, it really gets into lots of places. There we go. Okay. Oops. Mold on the nose. A mold on the nose. I, Cora, can you get my coffee? And grab me a glass of water, please. I'm very, actually, no coffee. Just get me a glass of ice water. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll drink it later. I put my toothpick on the nose. Let's see. Where did I did I get this guy? I got one on this guy's nose. It's a girl. Ice. Uh, yes. Just grab it from the inside, please. There's one little mole spot. I'm going to do two little more spots. Oh, 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 come on. Thank you. 
Oh yeah. Try not to hit my camera with the wire. Oh, I think maybe the third mole should be right there. Up or lower? Hmm. We'll see. We could always take it off. I like to take them off with Q-tips. Just roll on them. If I don't like something. Too thick is perfect to make it just right. What do you think? Is that too much? I'll put one right above her, on her brow kind of a thing right there. You can see it. Oh. And I think I missed uh, putting a little bit of a shade in her um, dimples. So I'm going to do that. Put a little bit of brown in there and then go over it with my brush. So I'm going to put it in my dimples with a toothpick. With my wet brush, I'm just going to kind of wax off kind of thing. Goes to the uh, same color as the, the rest of the paint job in there. You gotta have shadow and dimples. Maybe a little more shadow in the ears too. Got some rougey red barn in there. She is, this is the part that takes like, ooh, a little this, a little bit of that. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Now I think I'm gonna varnish it. If you guys think that uh, the lips are good, they're a little bit less white in person. They're more, uh, more color there oh maybe you can see it better now but i think i'm going to varnish this what do you think guys give it a go kind of like it that was so cute okay i'm going to give it a varnish i have a save brush for that let's just use this Oh, let's see if I can use this brush. If I let it sit, I let it sit in my glue um, water. So, because it's this hard, you can't really wash the varnish off. So I leave it in my oops, glue water, which I could use some more water in there too. Hey, before my brush is dry, I'll have to remember to do that. Okay. I might need a butter knife. Do I have anything strong here? Scissors. Sorry if I'm reaching, guys. And it's getting in your view. Yeah, well, we... Oh, he looks sad. We are... I think we're going to, like, stage two. I don't know, stage one. I don't know what we're at right now. I'm kind of ignoring the muse now. Because it was a lot of the same things. And I was just starting. To, at first I was really listening to a lot of the news. But we're still on technically, I guess, lockdown, I guess. But I mean, people around here, I gotta soak this. Sometimes you forget about this part. Oops, sorry. Left down. But people are starting to slack down. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing because ugh, what do you, you know? You get too slack, but then there's also some people that are just paranoid. So I don't know. I went to get groceries in my local place, and people come around the corner, like sometimes like your disease. It's just it's so weird and so stressful. I know why, but it's so stressful. Okay, now when you do the varnish, you will see. The colors just pop, just like when you do um, a decoupage or or whatever on your mixed media items, how the colors just pop. I love it. 
I think it just goes pop. Then I'm just going to dry it with my heat tool so then I can put it down. It's not sticky a bit. And I'm going to dry it really super low. So just enough to get the stick, not enough to make it bubble or anything. It's going to be on number one where my hand can be right in here. It's not heating, like blowing higher. Oh, I don't know if I'm doing this where you guys can see it. Isn't that cool though? It's like really, maybe, see it? It really makes it pop. Okay, I'm trying to make this, I'm gonna try and make this one a girl. What do you guys agree? It's not pretty per se. <laughs> I was thinking of pigtails kind of a thing, but we will see. I'll take suggestions after you guys look at the wool, I suppose. <laughs> so now this is it. That's the varnish. And I just picked this up like Canadian Tire or something like that. Nothing fancy. Same varnish I used on uh, my cat thing that I made. Make sure I get it everywhere. Pretty interesting. I wanted the ears to be big yet a little bit thinner, more like they kind of remind me of, um, what's his name, Dopey or Sleepy or something like that on the seven drawers, but I know his are huge. But that's what kind of shape I wanted, that kind of look. Oops, I'm pulling my cord. Okay, let's see here. California is crazy. I do not want no, go anywhere. So much drama. Yeah, I can imagine. The States. I haven't kept up with the news in the States either. Lately, I was for a while. Like I said, it was just, whoops, got to be so heavy. So I know it's a thing that's important, but I got to be so heavy. Uh, okay, drying this one. This is just cool number one air on this heat tool. This is a really big master heat tool and it does go really, really hot. But this is uh, the number first setting. Just don't want it to be too tacky, especially on the back where I'm going to put it down. Might be leaning. A girl. It's a girl. She's a girl. <laughs> She's a girl. Yeah. Okay. It should look great with the, her hair. Okay, so it's still a little bit tacky, but that's okay. I'm going to try to see if I can uh, wedge her up here with my paint or something. We'll see. Without her falling, I think we can do that with these. If you hear me scream, I have clips too, so I can grab them. I bought those fridge magnet clips. Just gonna go grab a couple to show you. I don't remember. I think it must have gotten them from the dollar store. But they were it was what what I was using to hold his shoes on, like because this is leather on the bottom of his shoes, and to make soles, I was using these. So I bought these for crafting, and I'm just gonna clip her to my paint rack so she's standing up in the paint rack she looks like a bag lady back in the 80s <laughs> well 
we will do our we will see and you know it's gonna be really interesting because i never made a dress so this will be fun a little dress for we'll do a dress um and that'll have to be another stream oops let me see here sorry and i think i got i keep track of my paint brushes sometimes if i just use barely any paint and can't see it there we go um i forget to wash them that's not good okay hair let's look at the hair we have lots of hair so i used purple the last time and um that turned out good and i wanted to look like it was just kind of either um i, oops, I don't know it could have been like three three braids or corn rolls or something but it looks cool anyways i like it so whatever it turned out to be we have beige i was thinking pink we have that's an awful color beige on the video that's so funny it does not look like the beige that I <laughs> and we also have yellow we have green <laughs> mm. We have a darker purple. I'm not sure if that. These might be blues. They're all different colors, like from lighter to darker. And then there's multicolor type. We do have this white, interesting old stuff I bought secondhand. It's really weird. Let's see if I have any open for open this one. It is um, turtles. The kids get into this and they're all kind of a mess. Kids, AKA Cora. So you guys just like tell me what you think. But this, I don't know what this would look like. It might look bag ladyish. It's kind of ooh, that tape was really old, but sticky. It's kind of like really webby. I'm not sure. I bought it for so cheap, but I'm not sure what. But look how webby it is. It is cool. Maybe this? That might be interesting. I'm not sure. Oh, that, see, that came up hard. Let's see here. I have no idea how thick this is supposed to be. That could be interesting here. Hmm. But then I don't think pigtails would be very cute with that. We could do a big old bun, though. I think that we should just not go paint another one yet, but we can just start working on the hair. What I used for my hair the last time is this Gorilla Glue. It took a while to get it to stick, but it was worth it because it didn't look like, there's doesn't look like there's lots of glue stuck in here. It looks really good. Doesn't look like glue is in the hair at all. So I like that it took a while, like I said, to, I had to keep rolling it up. A chopstick on there but okay so a bun or or the this hair anyways so yeah i had to keep rolling a chopstick on there i don't know if i have my chopsticks still somewhere's in this mess of, of hair of actually craft stuff <laughs> move my other guy away move my paints it's taking too long this is the part where it's like not convenient that i can pause the video <laughs> to save you guys from putting up with having to put stuff out of my way. Okay. So that was really fast to paint though. That didn't take too long, I don't think. A bun, nice. Okay. Ah, it's almost an hour. 
I might have to jump on another stream. Is that silly if I leave and come back? I don't want these streams to be too long for people to watch. And then they look at, oh, how long it is. And then they want, they are like, eh, don't want to watch it. Let me know what you think if, you, if it's okay if I jump off and then jump on another stream for the hair part. Because I wanted to make it easy to follow, but I also want for everyone that, you know, not to be scared when they see a two hour stream or three hour stream or something. So it'd be like I jump off and jump right back on anyway. Okay, bun. What can we do for a bun? Look for my phone. Who are you passing my phone? I have to plan this for a second here, guys. We could Google doll buns or something, hair, hair buns. I just don't know what an old style 80s bun. Oh, would I Google old style 80 bun? Old style 80s. Oh, that could be really cool. 80s B U N. Not bunny, bun. Oh, I can't spell. Old, yes, style, yes, search. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll do that. I'll pop off turtles and then pop back on. So that'll look what I'll do. Just give me a sec here. These are very, they're big hair. Let's do images. We might have to do older. Oh, this is cute. Probably gonna get in trouble for putting that up. That's cute. How about something like that, maybe? Okay, I think I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna snapshot this thing. Can I do that? And use that hairdo. So I'm gonna leave and come right back. So then we're gonna work on this next part is the hair. So then it's not a two hour video and I don't scare people from my stream. Thanks guys. I hope you can be right back. So join me in like a, a couple of minutes here. I'm going to go off and come back on.